Hi, today I will show how to clean your magic keyboard and also for the bonus on the end of the video I will show how to clean keyboard like this for the PC laptop. I'm sorry for the outside noise and also for the rain I can't control this but what you need to use to get under keycaps. You need to have something that is very hard and thin. You can see here I have something like this. You can also use wallet knife. It's also very thin and hard but you need to be careful of course. You can use even something like this. I have here Nike swoosh and you can see it's very thin and yes that's true. I actually can use it and I will prove it now. I need to do like this and you can see it's working. But you can't use anything like this because you can see it. it is not thin. There is thin part but you don't want to damage anything in your keyboard. Before we start I just need to say that keyboards ain't that fragile like everyone else might think doing this first time. Here's the proof and something that you really need to know. Here are two hooks that are holding keyboard. You can't break them that easily but you can break those ones and you would need to buy only this or this or maybe even both of them. Here it is much easier to see. So those two ones are to hold your keycap and here those two plastic parts are holding this part that is used to make travel between keycap and button which means technically you shouldn't start taking keycaps from here you need to start taking them from the bottom. This is exactly the reason why you can do it without stress. So I'll show you right now. You just need to do something like this. Hold your keycap right there, right? And now make a little bit force, boom. And now you can take this keycap like so. And nothing breaks. Now I will show it other way if you a little bit more scared so if you take something thin under your keycap and you do something like this here you can see there is something here so you just need to put your blade or something that you have under you see it's under so I'm not holding this and now I just need to do something like this. Boom. That's all. And now I can take it. What I did, I just went under the keycap and on top of this plastic part here. So I could just snap it off with no problem. Now, what I need to say, not every keycap is the same. This one, let's say, is reversed. I technically should go this way, right? Right, so let's try. Boom! And like so. And you can see it's actually not that easy. So, what we can do? I already learned you how to remove this keycap going under it and on top of this plastic. So, let's do the same here. So, like this. I went under, right? It snapped off. And here the other side, boom. You can see nothing break off. If something you can just do like this and it's still perfect. You can see here it is actually reversed. Like I said before, the hooks here are on the top and here are on the bottom. This is really old laptop and here's the keyboard. You can see this button doesn't work at all maybe a little bit right now because I pressed it so many times right now this one not too good so I'll show how to remove those keycaps to not break them many people do like this or try to do like this or here it will break so what we need to do like I showed with magic keyboard we need to go here let's do with this keycap here go under this plastic part that is here so you can see I'm not holding anything and I'll just do like this, boom perfect 
and here and you can just like twist or do something like this and boom it's off so let's try right now this keycap I'm not sure if I can do it because there is camera but I'll try but it's probably here boom and there's other plastic part boom perfect and here I can just twist you can use really anything you want to clean it looks pretty good to me here I will clean also make this metal part here okay and now press press and now it's perfect here's the last button that I was thinking of and the thing that is making this loud noise are of course those hooks so you don't need to be worried about anything and you just need to snap it like this and it's working. Let's go back to the main event which is Magic Keyboard. I'm not gonna take off every keycap but if you want to take off spacebar or those here you're just doing the same as with this button or with the laptop. You're just going under, there's this plastic part, you're doing the movement that I showed and you're doing here, here and also the same with other button and that's all. But remember, before you start taking off spacebar or other hard keycaps, just train yourself with the easier ones and with this one especially. Now, almost the last part that I will show is how to take off this plastic part. It's not easy and you need to be careful to not break here and here the hinges because they are really, really fragile. So, you're just going here, there is a space and you're just doing like this here boom perfect and like this you took it off let's try this keycap that is reversed also let's go under here be really careful boom I took it off this side this side and perfect like this you can take it off and clean whatever you have here. Now I will show how to put back this plastic part. So you can see here it's flat. Let's see other side. This is more like 3D. So you need to see this line here and it, it needs to match this metal line here. So you rotating like this. Here's the shiny part, right? And here are long things and for the hooks squares right so you need to catch it like this take this part up somehow okay perfect so it's like this you catching with your fingers and here are hooks <laughs> let's say okay and you just do it like this okay perfect and now boom done now how to put back keycap here here it is and what you need to do because you can't just push it here because you can break actually those parts so you can feel that you can not take it and then you push in here boom let's try with Z like so you can feel that you can take it off and then you push in here. That's all for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscription or maybe even a comment so I can reply to you. That's all. See you in another video. Bye.